Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study how we can minimize a boolean function in product of sum form. When a function is expressed as the sum of min terms, then those min terms which are not included in that function, their sum forms the complement of the function. Suppose we have to minimize this function f in product of sum form. by using a k map so first of all we will make a k map for three binary variables a b and c because this function f is formed of three binary variables a b and c so here i have made a k map for three binary variables a b and c now we have to represent this function f in this k map in k map a function is represented by the area enclosed by the squares whose min terms are included in the function. So I have marked those squares whose min terms are included in this function by 1. Now area enclosed by the squares which are marked by 1 represents the function f. Now we know that those min terms which are not included in this function, their sum represents the complement of the function. Now those squares which are not marked by 1, the area enclosed by them represents the complement of the function f. So those squares which are not marked by 1, I have marked them by 0. Now, we have to form valid group of adjacent squares which are marked by 0. Now, here the two groups are formed. This group has two adjacent squares and in this group there are two adjacent squares. Now, we have to find variables which are common in all squares of a group so in this group the variables which are common to the squares of this group are a naught and b naught right so the term which will be included in the complement of the function f would be a naught b naught and the variables which are common to the squares of this group are a and b. So a new term is formed a b. This term will also be included in the complement of the function f. So, so the f complement would be the sum of two terms a0, b0 and a b. Here the f complement is equals to a0, b0 plus ab. f1, f complement. Now the complement of f complement is equals to f. Now the complement of this right hand side would be this one. Here we have applied De Morgan's theorem. Right. So when we take complement of this right hand side, then it would be this one. Now we have to find the complement of a0 and b0 and we also have to find the complement of a and b. Then again we will use De Morgan's theorem then this will become this term complement of a0 and b0 will become the complement of a complement plus complement of B complement that is A plus B and this term that is the complement of A and B would become A complement plus B complement. So the function F here is expressed in the form of product of sums that is F equals to A plus B and A naught 
plus P naught. Thank you very much.